I coached uh, football for 19, baseball for 24. I coached some JV basketball when they needed somebody to help. During high school and college, I loved, I liked them all. I like, I love basketball. I just, in football, I played in and I caught some passes that were thrown by a great quarterback and they were easy to catch. I was lucky to be there to catch the ball. Back in, you know, 1965 and 66. That's what they were called. They still call rats. I don't know if they call the young ladies rat -esses. <laughs> <laughs> The last time I fell, I don't know where I might have been had Ronnie, my friend R.D., my brother Rat, hadn't come, he was on his way to Nag's Head. If he hadn't come to the door, I might still be on the floor. But he came to the door, called my son, my son makes arrangements to come to Richmond at a place where I meet uh, the best OT in the world and do LSVT. When he first got here, he needed physical assistance to get in and out of the bed and on and off the toilet and basically to move about. He wasn't able to walk by himself. Big out, big down. With LSVT, it's... Up. Um, retraining the brain and the movement um, such that the neurochemistry of the brain is working better with exercise and um, you're actually making them better rather than compensating. With LSVT you push hard. They have to work very hard. They should have a perceived exertion of seven to eight out of a ten point scale. They have to work hard to get their body to respond and to realize what it's supposed to do. And when Carl started at Beshalom, his balance was pretty poor. He wasn't able to stand up and, and through incredible amount of work, he, he improved it significantly, significantly. Ready? Big step out and back. She's just got a, a knack for motivating people to do what she wants them to do. And that's the way I felt. I also had a feeling that I'm not going to let this girl beat me. <laughs> okay? Okay, relax. I see a lot of dyskinesia. And what, what do you do to relax? Drink a beer. <laughs> LSVT, the program, is four times a week, times four weeks, an hour each session. And then there's also homework that they have to do, working on things that are difficult. Maybe it's putting on a jacket. Maybe it's... Um, getting into a table with an armchair. It's having the ability to actually have power over Parkinson's. It has worked wonders. We've, we've gone out riding bikes, something he hadn't done in, what, a decade or more. Yeah, a long time. He's been out in a kayak. You've done lots of things that... Golf. Golf, yeah. There's a tremendous amount of um, muscle motion and great balance for. In fact, uh, maybe he'll show you what he can do now that he used to do when he was uh, a football player. We called it karaoke. <laughs> some people want milk, I want dopamine. <laughs> I wish you could just drink some of it every morning. 
That's what's missing, right? That's what's missing. For people with Parkinson's. Yeah. Patika. Patika, 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 patika. With LSVT, by teaching a patient to use one command, speak out, speak loud, that um, they can take a deep breath support, they imitate what the therapist is doing, they slow their rate of production, and their articulation improves when you increase your vocal intensity. Try to get two swallows out of one sip. Parkinson's disease, um, th there is a normal, unfortunate change in swallow, chewing and swallowing function called dysphagia. And the motor uh, function, the muscular function gets weak. And unfortunately, it causes the risk of obstructive choking, which was what Carl experienced. Also aspiration, meaning food or liquid goes into the airway. Part of our plan of care was to develop strengthening exercises. Um, we also use neuromuscular e stimulation respiratory support exercises, neck exercises. Um, Carl's been a model um, patient. Hopefully, I don't become like my brother Rat down in Alabama and some other people that are uh, a lot more disabled than I am with Parkinson's. They still use a rollator or maybe a wheelchair. Uh, I know what it means to use both of them, and I don't want to ever do it again if I can help it. I like being able to walk out my front door. Sometimes I run over to the clubhouse just for the heck of it. That's my dad, and that's my mom. My father was the best coach I ever had. He had Parkinson's, and I don't know that Parkinson's killed him, but, but he fell and you know couldn't recover from the broke his hip and uh, just some more pictures of Honey Bunny. We started dating in juniors in high school. That's the, the, uh, my youngest and that's my oldest. This must be grandchildren. They used to like to wrestle with me when they were smaller. Oh, uh, they call your wife Uma? Yeah, somewhere or another, I think it's German. Poor grandma. How did she do? Her third bout of cancer was in the brain. I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. I shouldn't have thought about it. No. I should be able to talk about it. Carl comes every week. He encourages other residents to participate. I teach adaptive chair dance for people with Parkinson's, as well as their caregivers, because it gives them um, a social activity that they can do together. Boom, papa, boom, papa, add your knee. Dance movement um, enhances our lives physically, mentally, emotionally, socially. It's a great stress reducer. Sometimes they have freezing movements as they walk across the floor, but when they hear music, it does something to the dopamine in the brain, and they don't have these frozen movements. So if they're thinking about moving to the timing of a song, they may not have that same frozen movement. He comes to what my Matt Challenge class, and he also comes to Men's Muscle Mania. I do power size too. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. Power he does power size too, which is touchy. one of my aerobic classes. And touchy. And touchy. Okay. What we do with, uh, especially with power size. Yeah. You got your feet moving, you got to move your hands. That's, that's complex movement. Mm -hmm. And so that's what parkies have to strive for. Hands waving in the clouds. Step out to the left. In Tai Chi, there's a, there's a lot of balance in it uh, because you have the moves are very slow and you have to pick your feet up and so you're balanced on one foot. Even if it's a quick pick up and down, you're still balanced on the one foot. Uh, it's serene and, and de-stressing as well. Press the energy back into the earth. Can we have a copy of that because that's my best? I think about where he came from and where he is now and how much better he is than he when I first met him. I think it's amazing and, and that's what I love to see. I like to see it work. Without continued exercise, his symptoms are significantly um, 
worse. Exercise is medicine. Bye. You essentially got your life back. Yes, I did. Enjoy it. Life is good. <laughs>